this demo, we will look at how we can perform employee time off request and manager time off approval process for Workday HCM through Slack Workbot. We are also leveraging on Google Dialogflow as the natural language understanding provider to make the Workbot requests in natural language. For example, we can search for something generic like vacation. And in this case, there are two options. I can either choose to check for remaining vacation days or apply for leave. In this case, I would want to check for remaining vacation days. I can rephrase that sentence or even just enter check. So Workado then retrieves the employee time off balance from Workday and sends the data to Slack Workbot. And as you can see, I have 17.5 days of vacation time off remaining in Workday. Now let's look at applying for paid time off through Slack Workbot. I can enter apply for leave as it's shown here, apply leave or rephrase it or even enter request time off. So I would like to take leave for 9th of August, perhaps for one day. Um, I would like to take vacation for one day. So once the request has been sent, it will retrieve my vacation time of balance from Workday to check if the employee has enough balance. If there is enough time of balance, the request will then be sent to the employee's manager's Slack workbot who can choose to approve or reject the request. In my case, Sergey is my manager and the manager can also choose to retrieve any information that he will need in order to make an informed decision. So once the manager in this case chooses to approve, the approval notification will then be sent back to the employee's Slack as it's shown here, where the employee can then choose to add this to the Google Calendar. Yeah. So this is how you can perform employee time off request and manager time off approval process for Workday HCM through Slack Workbot using natural language.